Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win. You ain't know what's good, my nephews and nieces. This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. Right now, listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, right? That will definitely push your video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. upload every single day. And you can show the appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now let's get into this video. So today we're going to talk about the one and only Chris Paul. Shout out to Chris Paul, man. He is arguably one of the top five point guards to ever play the game. Um, and obviously we're going to look at the New Orleans Pelicans Chris Paul, as you see, he's a 97 overall two-way threat, and he is still rocking and rolling to this day. Um, the one thing I will want to say real quickly is that Chris Paul should have been a Laker, and if it wasn't for David Stern rejecting it, which I think was completely criminal, and that needs to be thoroughly investigated one day. I don't know how you can, as the NBA, step in and reject a trade between two teams, but yes, that's exactly what happened. Think about it. Just imagine the Anthony Davis trade that just went down with the Lakers in New Orleans, and then all of a sudden, um, Silver comes in as the commissioner says, no, nah, we're not going to allow that trade. That's exactly what happened with Chris Paul. Chris Paul should have been paired up with Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, and it was rejected. So me as a diehard Lakers fan, me being from North Carolina, me actually playing against Chris Paul my senior year, and obviously losing, but regardless... You know, it's just a lot of connections here that, you know, I really wish that things would have panned out differently for Chris Paul because he doesn't have a championship right now. And he's, you know, I think he's what? Well, he's around, you know, yeah. He's, you know, in his mid-30s and he is still looking for his first championship, right? So we're going to rewind it all the way back to Chris Paul when he was with the Pelicans. And as you see, 97 overall, two-way threat at the point guard position. So, you know, this is about to be crazy. Um, let's look at the attributes here. So driving layups to 97, his standing dunk and driving dunk basically is no attribute at all. <laughs> so yeah, and then he has a 98 close shot. So only thing you really have on that will be a max out driving layup and a max out close shot, and that's it. Mid range 95, three point shot 83. Uh, what else? Well, pass accuracy 96, ball hand 92, speed with ball 96, which is pretty ridiculous. Excuse me. And. Let's see here. Of course, defense is about to be crazy. So perimeter and steal is going to be up there. Chris Paul has led the league like seven or eight times in steals. I mean, he's one of the best on-ball defenders and one of the most stickiest hands in the league. Um, and then everything else is going to be pretty minuscule, as usual, as you see. I mean, he's only six feet. So um, let me see. Verse in 88. And yeah, so that's it. So now let's go over here to these. The badges, of course, he's going to have Giant Slayer Hall of Fame. Acrobat, fearless finisher, pro touch, teardropper. That makes sense on these badges here. Um, then he has silver shooting badges. But I think he should have had more of that. I think, if anything, his difficult shots should have been a little bit higher. He's one of the best mid-range shooters of all time. Um, and if you don't believe me, I, I remember watching the ESPN clip um, maybe last year. And they're talking about, like, who had the highest percentages from, like, the free throw elbow on each side of the free throw. And Chris Paul has one of the highest all-time percentages on one side. I don't know if it's the right or left. But if you in the comment section, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you can you can go ahead and put in the comment section which one it was. Um, Needle Threader Hall of Fame makes sense. Um, but I mean, like, bailout, bullet passer. So, yeah, he has a lot of gold badges here. And then defensively, you know he's going to have pickpocket. I knew it. Pickpocket Hall of Fame. All right, Clamps. I mean, great defender, two-way threat. So, yeah, man. So, I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and head over to the My Player Builder and make the one and only Chris Paul. All right, my nephews and nieces. Okay, so... Chris Paul, he is a point guard. He's right-handed, of course, and he was number three, all right? Um, his height was six feet. He was 175 pounds, so this is about to be the shortest guard I've ever made. Six feet, 175 pounds, 6'7 wingspan, body type, we can go defined, all right? Um, now, what we're going to do here, um, which is going to be crazy, but the only thing that we technically can do is just have driving layup maxed out. I know that's going to sound crazy. But we just don't want to max out just a close shot. I mean, you only get five on it, and it takes up all the attributes. Like, literally, think about it. You go from a 35 overall 
to a 45 you get plus 10 on that you know and we all that's why we always skip close shot you don't need close shot all right um then we're gonna go we're gonna max out the mid-range shot and a three-point shot and then we're gonna get our free throw to just a 40 all right so 13 so now the thing is is this he had an 85 three-point shot but i just decided to go ahead and just get it up to a 95 just so you know really just because in that point in time with the attributes it just made sense so we're just going to give that higher now here again since this is a point guard spot we're very limited we can only go 80 on the pass accuracy instead of the 92 i mean the 90 yeah 92 pass accuracy and then the ball handle we're only able to go to 81 because once again because of a point guard position in the attributes right so what i did do though is make sure i maxed out the speed with ball so we had to make sure the speed with ball was maxed out he had a 96 speed with ball in this instance he would have 99 and um because you get a plus four for everything same thing here we're gonna max out that perimeter defense in the steel because that is exactly what he was and then we're gonna go 31 here to give him 16 and trust me the 16 is very important for this build all right and then what we're going to do here you know we got to max out the speed and the acceleration all right we're also going to leave the strength blank and then we're going to go ahead and go 61 on the vert because you don't need anything else and then of course we're going to go 64 on the stamina you only need 60 but this is how it panned out all right so this is what we're looking at 0 13 18 and 6. the only place here that theoretically where we're like dang you wish we could do more with would be the finishing but i will say this if anybody's a legend right if they're a legend and if they hit legend and they use they make this build they will get 10 badges on finishing which would then make this build just ridiculous i think this build is going to be godly regardless because of a couple things let's just point it out right yeah, you have a 99 driving layup. That's good. So you go into the basket. You're still going to finish well. I will not necessarily recommend going over anybody because you don't have the contact finisher or fearless finisher badge. But when it comes to shooting, you're going to have a 99 three ball and a 99 mid range shot. And um, in this at instance, you basically could just literally you could um, play pick and roll basketball. So this is kind of going back to 2K21 current gen pick and roll basketball being able to shoot threes and focus on the perimeter don't worry about the interior 84 pass accuracy 85 ball handle a whopping 99 speed 99 perimeter defense and a 99 still 99 speed here and 99 acceleration i said speed i'm gonna say speed with ball all right really really godly build man now here you have some choices now being a two-way threat and being chris paul obviously there's a couple things that i feel like would be best for him first and foremost i do want to go with the ankle breaking shots i think that's just as deadly to have ankle breaker and then next is a couple things you can go with the limitless range threes but having a 99 three ball do you really need that right so then my question would be maybe extreme clamps will be the other one or you can get very good with this and then say listen you know i know i don't have badges so i can go ahead and get finishing moves and i think that makes sense all right it makes sense to have a takeover to where now you can go to the basket and finish now again you can go with the defense too doesn't really matter i'm just throwing some ideas out there and then here you have my nephews and nieces you have a two-way threat now obviously as we know in my previous video with derrick rose and with blake griffin since chris paul is still currently playing we're not going to get shades of chris paul because that chris paul that plays with the phoenix suns obviously has completely different attributes we're trying to do prime okay so in order to get shades of the individual cannot be playing in the nba right now when you're trying to do the prime version of them okay so maybe when chris paul's retired we can do that but just like i said the derrick rose and the blake griffin you know they still play and we did the prime versions of them this is what you're going to get you're not going to get the shades of them right so um now let's go ahead and test this build out real quick let's get a 99 all right and then here what we're going to do of course we want to go deep threes we want to go hot zone hunter we want to go set shooter um let's go set shooter not set shooter i'm tripping man um where's rhythm where is that at is it rhythm 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 oh right there beside it what the heck yo all right so let's go rhythm shooter here and then blinders has been nerfed but we can go with, with that blinders here and call it a day um playmaking of course you know you want to get the hall of fame quick first step and the handles for days you also need to get down pluckable you want to get bail out um let's get bullet passer we got four left over so maybe we can go ankle breaker and then space creator call it like that and then defensively this thing's is going to be crazy hall of fame clamps 
Hall of Fame pick Dodger, Hall of Fame pick Pocket, and where is the other one? All right, yeah. So then you can go Hall of Fame ankle braces, or you can go Hall of Fame interceptor, which I probably will go with, or you can split the difference. So you can do that, right? I think this is a really good build, man. Really excited about it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite O'Hare and Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. If he cop for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop out the top of no transform. I'm in my duckin' and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a beat like a mighty muffler. Tell my set to get rich and go have a